This is the paper I'm using, the Bristol board from Strathmore. Using a grid to anchor in proportions, I trace out the directions of the hair in the braid. You can see it's all done very lightly and we'll trace that with a pen. Just the outline at this point and we'll erase all of the pencil marks and we've got a template to begin from. So we'll start to anchor in some of the, the first tones real lightly with a pen. I'm using a big pen at this point just to in the same direction as the hair is going. Just anchor in a little bit of light tones and we'll work in layers. And you can see that um, there are areas that are very dark with a lot of shade. And once you get a little bit of ink on the paper, you can use your finger or a tissue and pull it across. And that'll help to blend it. So experiment with that. And when you get to this point, you can use a little bit heavier pressure and start adding more tonal values and some cross hatching and putting a little more ink on the places where the tonal value is darker. And you'll achieve a nice hair texture if you keep going in the same direction as the hair uh, for the most part. You can see I went with some cross hatching on the side of the head because it'll be a real dark value when we're done. And for the darkest values, I'm using a thicker tip big pen. I think it's 1.6 millimeter and it puts out a lot more ink than the regular pen. You can see it there actually. When you start putting that ink down, it really does pop out. You can see a big difference between that and a regular big pen or the light tip big pen. And I use the fine tip big pen to add little strands of hair throughout and you can see at the very end we have a few stray hair that we add in there and she's got a couple of necklaces on which i put in there actually she had one necklace but i put two on because i made a mistake with one of the lines that i made and keep your uh, switching your pens because the tips will get hot i'm using a kneaded eraser where the highlights are to erase where you know, some ink will come off that'll keep that highlight really clean. And you can see the effects that has using the white of the paper as the highlight value. And then just adding in a few stray hairs and here's our final drawing. Mm -hmm.